when hope is gone, undo this lock and send me forth on a moonlit walk. Release restraint level zero. Dead body. Hi guys, this is the Void of the Ravenclaw. Welcome back to another fan fiction story. If you like this type of content, smash the like button and subscribe for future videos and updates that, that I do post on my community tab frequently. This is the arrival of the Blood Moon Pack, part one. As you could see Leon writing a battle report that he's starting to highly dislike. He finally finished the first battle report for his commanding officer, Vitiate. Then he immediately started working on the second battle report for his mother so she could bring it up during one of the council meetings. After all, his mother is on the council itself. Leon heard a soft knock, knock on his door, come in. Door open as a young white haired, pure blood vampire popped his head in. Yo, you must be my new recruit. Name's Damien. Leon, I see you're doing your battle report, may I? As long as you hand it over to the commander. Yeah, I'll make sure he gets it. Now let's see what, what I'm working with. Damien started to laugh after reading the battle report. Got to say, you're very... Vicious. For a hybrid. And you're very thorough. I think you'll fit nicely in my unit. Damien, uh, Dam Damien notice his new hybrid recruit is writing the exact copy of the same battle report that he has in his very hands. May I ask why you're making a exact copy of the battle report? Council member Victoria desires a copy of my battle report. Makes sense. She's a council member that deals with the hybrids the most. Without council member Victoria, hybrids wouldn't have been possible without her involvement. After all, she's solely responsible for making the first hybrids in the first place. I'm very aware of the history of my kind and of my pack. Of course, it was the vampire clan I belonged to. He finished the battle report and transported it through a magical circle to his mother's office. I suppose you would. The report under your do dossier says you are the only hybrid capable of using magic. Outside of typical blood magic, of course. The ability you have to use magic will definitely come in handy. What type of unit have I just joined? Infiltration, assassination, occasional assault unit. We're a bit of a jack of all trades. I see. Makes sense with my skill set. That would be the most best 
best place to put me in. Our commander might be quite set in his old ways of things, but he's not stupid. He knows how much of an asset he has in you. Worry not, Leon. I don't see hybrids in a lesser light. I give hybrids the same amount of respect I give everyone. I'll leave you to your own devices, well, for now, but I, but I expect you to be all geared up and ready to go at dawn. Copy that, sir. Oh, and Leon, welcome to the team. As Damien calmly walked out of the room and gently shut the door behind him, Damien's been wanted a wanted to get a hybrid in his unit for months now. Damien's no fool. He knows this specific hybrid is most likely the strongest that that's ever been created or ever existed. Just judging by the battle report he just read, if everything is accurate. Leon would be essential for his unit. After Damien hand over the report over to the proper channels, he made his way back to his chamber chambers to get his most needed relaxing well re relaxing time. Meanwhile, Leon stared at the retreating form of his new superior officer where he wa was once before he left he had a very annoying expression on his face he's way too cheerful cheerful for my taste no matter when dawn finally came leon was already geared up in one of the larger rooms in the base waiting for deployment it's just like waiting area for all the agents leon was leaning against the wall repeatedly flipping a blood coin the blood coin is the size of a quarter it's one of their forms of money in the vampire society good you're already geared up I normally would have liked to ease you into the unit slowly but that's no longer a possibility how so sir one of our unit is currently under attack by one of the more violent werewolf packs Outside of the outside of the Blood Moon pack, of course. Your pack is specifically vicious. So what exactly are we going up against? Hopefully my unit didn't attack any pure bloods. If we're lucky. We're only dealing with churn werewolves, not lichens. According to what I've learned, lichens or pure blood werewolves are much more difficult to take down compared to a churn werewolf. And I suppose we could apply the same logic with vampires as well. You're not wrong there, Leon. How many? How many pure bloods do you have in the unit compared to the churn vampires? I would say about 50 50, Leon. Our, the new unit you're joining is small but effective. Of course, no reason to have a big unit. For the type of missions you do, sir, 
All you need to do is just point me in the direction and I'll take care of the rest. As they begin to leave the base and begin to run in vampire speed to get to the unit's location that's currently being under attack by a large group of a werewolf hunter party. These werewolves are not hunters like the human hunters. They're just they're just a hunting party. I don't want to make I just want to clear it up beforehand in case someone gets gets confused. Anyways, let's continue forward. Leon, we need to be careful. We'll be entering several several battle zones. There's a lot of werewolf packs that are not I'm totally liking what's been going on with the war. So just be on your guard. Copy that, sir. I'm guessing they most likely got pinned down when they were trying to go through the city. I'm guessing that's where they are. I shouldn't be too surprised you already pinned down what the, what the situation is. You hybrids are a special breed, so intelligent and powerful. It's logical to consider us hybrids. We're Brett. We're breed for combat. We were made to be killers. I don't know about the rest of the hybrids, but I was raised not only to be strong, but to be smart. It doesn't matter how powerful you are, if you don't have the smarts, to utilize your power correctly. Indeed, wise words, Leon. I take it you don't interact with hybrids very often. You're the first hybrid I've actually had any sort of conversation with. The other times I've seen your kind were on the battlefield, and that's not the type, it, that's not the situation to have a conversation. I see what you hybrids are capable of, personally, on the battlefield. There's no, there's no easy way to say it. You're going to be quite essential for the unit. After all, you're going to be specifically the muscle. And your opinion on magic when we come across it. Logical. I'm fully aware how this will look compared to the other vampire units out there. Indeed, I'm not ashamed to admit it. With you implemented in my unit, my social status, status in the vampire society has gone up quite a bit. But I could care less about my social status. I formed this unit to have, I formed this unit in the first place to have a hybrid implemented since the beginning. Understood, sir. I'll follow your orders to the T. You don't have to worry about me. Duly noted, Leon. Damien was relieved. He know hybrids can be quite aggressive and usually don't want to follow orders from weaklings. But Leon has been outright almost polite towards him so far. He's not delusional. He knows Leon is far more powerful than he is. And the fact that, and the fact that they don't know exactly how powerful Leon is, If a uh, but if but if Leon wants to hide his capabilities, that's on him. He'll leave that to the higher ups to deal with. He noticed they're finally approaching this the city. Leon, 
up ahead. We're, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be entering the city pretty pretty soon. Get, uh, get ready for combat. Understood. As Leon took out his face, his face guard mask out of the coat and, and attached and uh, and attached it to the bottom of his face and put the hood over his head and continued to run with Damien towards the fast approaching city. That sounds of battle could be heard even from this far away. Leon pulled out his short katana to reflect several incoming silver bullets that were flying towards towards their towards their direction. When he located the shooter, he threw a black kunai piercing the human hunter in the head, killing the man instantly. Then Damien killed the rest of them by swinging his sword only three times, killing the rest of them instantly as body parts begin to begin to be chopped off and drop into several different piles. Leon saw a charging werewolf that Damien didn't notice. Leon kicked the werewolf away as, as, as another werewolf. Well, as the werewolf was flown into a group of human hunters, Leon grabbed, grabbed Damien by the shoulder and jump, and, and jump away as they both they both landed and turn around to run into the city further. Thanks, Leon. No problem, sir. Can't have my commanding officer die on me now. It would look bad on my record. You wound me. If you keep slowing down like you are, I'll, I'll show you a real wound. Damien picked up his pace and started to laugh. I'm starting to like you. It's going to be quite entertaining with you around. Come on. Follow me. We'll travel... We'll, we'll travel through the city by the rooftops. As Damien and Leon jump from the street level all the way up to the roof. As they begin to travel from rooftop to rooftop. By, le by leaping onto, by leaping off one roof to another. No matter how far the gap is, with their, with their vampire abilities, it's an easy task to accomplish. We're being watched. I smell them. It's hard to identify all of the different scents, smells that's been scattered all around the city. What are you dealing with, Leon? Four werewolves. They're currently climbing up the building. Be on guard. One of them is a lichen. I'll take care of the big fish. You deal with the rest. Well, aren't you greedy? I could take out the normal werewolves while you take out the pure blood. If you like. I wouldn't dream of it to deny you of such a challenge. Of course. Understood, sir. As Leon rolled his eyes. As the four werewolves finally jump up jump upon the roof. As two werewolves stop their progress by standing in front of them as two more werewolves was behind them boxing them in I'll handle these two that's in front of us you handle you handle the ones in the back sir you're quite the bossy subordinate but I don't mind well boys You heard my irritated friend. You get to play with me first. Hope you don't die too fast. 
it would be highly disappointing. You two follow me as he jump off the roof onto another one. So he has more room to work so they don't accidentally cross each other's battles and accidentally make a mistake and becoming open, uh, um, leaving the opening for them to attack them. So he decided to take it a little further away. The moment the two werewolves landed on, well, on a large roof, standing in front of Leon, the younger werewolf, that was once human, either got churned into a were werewolf, either by choice or by accident. He was the first one to charge, displeasing the lichen out of his pure stupidity. But the... Uh, but the older werewolf, well, the older, more wiser lichen, stood back and did not try to stop him. If the mud dies, he will die out of his stupidity. He knew the pup wasn't ready for a live combat like this, but he was, t he was too arrogant. Not to the lichen supplies, not to the lichen surprise. The hybrid simply dodged the initial claw slash and grabbed the grabbed uh, grabbed the werewolf by the throat and snapped his neck as Leon casually tossed the slowly turning werewolf back into his human form. Falls off the roof of the building. How disappointing. Quiet hybrid. You might have. He might have been a fool, but he's still a member of my pack. Of 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 the pack. You're gonna pay for that. Even though even though the arrogant fool only died because of his foolishness, because of his idiotically, of his idiocy. You're quite different compared to the others I faced so far. And I'm looking forward to, to our dance of death. But I must ask, that magical artifact on the top of your forehead would be so kind to give me a little bit of information on that. It intrigues me. Not going to happen, hybrid. You're going to have to, you're going to find out real soon, though. Very well. I'll get the information by using other methods, werewolf. Leon got into his sword stance. Leon has his palm around the hilt of his sword gently, that's still in his sheath. Zeke analyzed his opponent. He's come across hybrids before in battle, in the midst of battle. But his instincts is telling him to be careful. He, he has a feeling this hybrid is completely different compared to the other ones he's faced so far. Zeke immediately charged, ready to slash upwards, only for his claws to get stopped as Leon Quick drew, drew his katana, stopping his attack. Leon immediately disengaged, then jump up in the middle of the air and land a spin kick across the fully transformed Zeke in his snout, only forcing Zeke to only step backwards once. Leon noticed that and hopped backwards to get some distance. Impressive hybrid, you sent you somehow managed to make me step a single step backwards. Of quite a powerful kick, but you're going to need a lot more than that to stay alive. Interesting. Normally, you werewolves tend to die without putting much effort. 
into it, at least on my part. Let's see how good your reflex are, shall we, Lycan? With that said, Leon instantly vanished in pure speed, then reappeared right above, well, right above him, as Leon begins to swing his katana. Zeke didn't realize it until, until it was too late, as he got a large sword slash across, across, across the right side of his face. Zeke's been enough battles, so he was able to use his instincts to block the last incoming slash with his claws, and immediately backed off growling as blood begins to drip from the right side of his face his right eye was severely damaged luckily the artifact on his forehead is unharmed or undamaged Leon swiped the blood off of his katana onto the roof of the building they're currently battling on looks like looks like I got first blood wolf I hope you're not all talk, Wolf. Otherwise, this will be highly disappointing. Zeke's slash wound begin to close up as his wound completely disappeared in mere seconds, fixing his eye like, like the injury was never there in the first place. After a few blinks, his vision has returned back to normal. Don't let that get to your head, little pup. I won't fall for that for a second time. But I gotta say, that was quite impressive speed. You got my curiosity. What did you just use, exactly? All you need to know is a flash step. I won't go further into the details. There's no reason for me to explain my techniques to an enemy, especially to a lichen. I'm not that stupid. Just like all techniques, there's always a weakness, but you won't. But you won't live long enough to find that out. I'll have to see about that pup, but I hope you have more of these techniques. I'm starting to enjoy this battle. And for you, that's definitely not a good thing. Trust me, I have plenty of these so-called techniques. Allow me, Wolf. As Leon and Melee re-engage their battle using more of his speed. So did Zeke, forcing Leon to pay close attention. He noticed the werewolf he's fighting has increased his speed. Leon was forced on the defensive. It is clearly obvious to Leon that the werewolf is trying to overwhelm him with his speed, preventing him from attacking as, as often. Leon increased his speed further. After he dodged a overhanded swing from the werewolf, dodging its claws and slashes, and blocking, oh, dodging the claws or blocking the slashes with his katana. When Leon finally found an opening, he acted. As he land a slash, he slashes a katana in the side of the werewolf, then immediately spin around and slash him again in the chest. He was about to pierce his sword into the werewolf's chest, going through its heart, but his opponent had other things in mind and immediately backed off. He swung the blood off of his sword 
and got back into a sword stance, ready for the next move that the werewolf will make. It didn't take long for Zeke to charge forward, easily cutting the distance, and, and swung a fist downwards. Leon blocked the large fist as he was sent skidding across the ground on top of the roof, almost falling off the edge of the building. Leon had to sidestep to dodge a flying fist from above. Leon hopped backwards and put his sword back in his sheath, waited for the werewolf to get right in the middle of the roof, and blitzed towards the werewolf. Z Zeke slammed his fist into Leon's stomach, lifting, lifting him up near inches off the ground of the roof. Then Zeke grabbed Leon by the face and jumped up in the middle of the air and threw him down towards the street level, throwing him off the roof. As Leon crashed on top of the roof of a parked car, benting the metal from the force of the fall he received, Leon eventually unlodged himself from the roof of the car and swiped the glass off of his shoulders. As Zeke finally dropped down to, this, to the street, the moment he landed on the street, underneath Zeke became spiderweb cracks underneath them. Leon immediately engaged Zeke once again. Zeke matched Leon's speed and began to engage close quarters combat. Zeke was impressed by the hybrid. He's keeping up with them. Hybrid's not even trans transformed yet into his wolf form. They usually do by this time in battle. That's why he finds his that's why Zeke finds his battle so exciting. He loves to fight strong opponents. As they both begin to exchange blows with each other, Leon managing to dodge majority of the strikes, but some of them were unavoidable, so he simply tanked the hits, then he immediately threw out his own, sending Zeke across the street. Before Zeke could formulate a plan, Leon got a whole lot stronger and faster and managed to send him flying backwards. as he hit him again, forcing Zeke to go airborne. All in midair, he double kicked Leon in the chest and spin around and slid to a stop when he landed by digging his claws into the street, slowing down his momentum, then immediately charged forward on all fours. The closer Zeke got to Leon, the brighter did the magical artifact, Glow, that's been implanted in Zeke's forehead. And Zeke got close enough. He slashed the air in front of Leon as energy slashes, made out of pure magic, came flying towards Leon. Leon wasn't expecting that, so one of the slashes barely nicked him. On, on his cheek as Leon's injury on his cheek began to heal up in mere seconds as the wound was completely uh, com completely healed like, uh, like his cheek was never injured in the first place Leon immediately had to dodge more of the energy slashes that are flying towards him Leon casted his black exploding fireball at the large werewolf. When his spell made contact 
with, the, with his opponent. There was a large black explosion. Then Zeke was engulfed in black smoke, concealing him completely. The smoke cleared, and Zeke was unharmed by, uh, by that magic attack. I know magic when I see it. That shouldn't be possible for a werewolf. Not even a lichen to be able to channel and use magic. That artifact that's in the middle of your forehead. That has something to do with it. I could sense the magic radiated, radiated off of it. Entirely wrong there, hybrid. We found a way around our little magic problem. What's in the middle of my forehead is the original, but we've already recreated it for my kin to use in this war. Werewolves naturally have magic inside them, but they just, there's not a way for them to channel, channel it properly. This artifact simply is a focuser to draw out our magic potential to the surface. I'm no magic user. I don't have knowledge of different spells. I just have my techniques I've created using magic. Enough talk. Time to die. As Zeke begin to channel his magic through his physical body, increasing his strength. Leon noticed that and began to do the same. En enchanting his already insane s strength e even further. Th this entire time, he hasn't been using his max strength. It would be no fun. He would kill everything. After all, he's only been dealing with small fry. Until now. When they rush towards each other, as their fists collided with each other, a sonic boom, then a second later, a shockwave was created. Leon and Zeke were knocked backwards from their attack colliding with each other. Both hybrid and lichens use their claws to stop their momentum by digging them into the street. Leon charged and kicked Zeke, then swung his extended claw-like fingernails, leaving a large slash wound on Zeke's chest. Leon immediately slammed a magical infused fist into Zeke's face, sending the pure blood lichen into several buildings. And it looks like uh, it. And it looks like um, Zeke's not going to stop any anytime soon. As Leon uses as much magic he's able to use when he infuses when he infuses magic with his physical strength. Oh, he went pretty far. As Damien watched the trail of destruction where the werewolf was sent flying by Leon. I already took care of my playmates, got bored, so to see your progress. Seems like you have fun. Let's get out of here. Agreed, as they both jump off, continue on their path to their original destination. I learned a couple things while fighting that pure blood. I have a feeling I'm not going to like whatever you have to say. We'll deal with it later. We need to get our squad. A large group of werewolves and a, and, and a small group of vampires are straight ahead of us. About a mile out, sir. Double speed, Leon. Copy that. One of the werewolves begin to approach the extremely exhausted vampire. As the vampires were completely 
completely surrounded by fully transformed werewolves. As the werewolf is getting ready to thrust his claws downwards into the defenseless vampire that's lost too much blood. As the werewolf thrust his claws towards it towards the vampire's direction, ready to pierce right through its heart. Only for a hooded figure to appear and grab the werewolf with one hand. Then Leon shoved the werewolf's fist into the werewolf's own chest. He pulled the werewolf's arm out of his own chest. Then ripped out his heart by slamming his claws into the open chest of the werewolf. Then immediately chopping the head off with a karate chop motion with his hand decapitating the werewolf, then immediately blasting it with fire without even looking away from the werewolves that are still alive all around him. Seems you guys are having fun. Hope you don't mind if I join in. As Leon crushed the heart in his hands, as, as one of the werewolves charged forward, then two more werewolves charged him as well, flanking him on both sides. Without even looking, he grabbed both of the charging werewolves by their foreheads and slammed the back of their skulls into the ground. As the ground beneath the two werewolves and Leon begin to sink and form into Two small craters was created. Then a Leon, a, then Leon, a Leon immediately charged forward into the large group of werewolves that are running towards him. That's where we're going to stop. Hope you guys have a good night and day. Judge by time zones, and I'll catch you in the next video.